This is a video on a chi-squared test for independence. The question states, a sociologist wants to determine if the type of music people listen to is related to the type of car they drive. The following table presents the results of the survey. So here's the table. We have pop, rap, classical, rock, and other. And then we have a sedan, truck, and sports car for the type of car. And these numbers tell you how many of each cell there were. So, for example, there were 19 truck owners who listened to rap music. So let's start with the null hypothesis. We want to find out if the type of car somebody owns and the type of music someone listens to we want to find out if those two categories are independent. So H0 is that car type and music type are independent. And H1 is that car type and music type are dependent. So now let's use a calculator to find out the p-value related to this hypothesis test. So here's the calculator, and I want to enter the data. And for a chi-squared test for independence, we use a matrix. So I go second matrix right here. And then I go to edit and enter. The first number here represents how many rows there are, and the second is how many columns there are. Well, we have one, two, three, four, five different rows, so five, enter, and we have three columns, so three, enter. And now I just type in all the numbers, so 47, enter, 22, enter, and then I type in all the rest of them. Okay, and the last are 2 and 10. So 10, and I hit enter. Okay, now that I have the data entered into the matrix, I go to stat, and then tests, and then I scroll up until I get to chi-squared test, which is C here. And I hit enter. The observed is A, that was the matrix I put it into. The expected is B. So if we want to find the expected counts, we just um, later on we can go to B and hit enter. And we just go to calculate. And I hit enter. And it tells me that chi squared is 36.72, etc. And the p value, and that's the number that's the most important, is 1.29, etc. And then E negative 5. E negative 5 tells you to move the decimal place over to the left five places. So back to the PowerPoint, the p-value is about equal to 0 0.00001. And that's really, really tiny, smaller than any level of significance you could even imagine. So I can state my conclusion because the p-value being really small, smaller than any alpha, means I reject H0 and accept H1, and I can conclude that there is strong statistically significant evidence to conclude that the type of music people listen to and the type of car they drive are dependent. And I'm done with the problem.